So let's see how exactly this game one is going to go. I feel like it's going to speak for a lot. Now, starting on small battlefields, I know this is a great stage for Tilde, but let's see how exactly he's going to be able to do it. Illusion's <laughs> right in. Yeah, said, yeah, no. We're, we're going to go ahead and start the game immediately. Did you think you were going to get a chance to set up? No, sir. 79% of two right off the bat. Now Squid Palmer has to go ahead and make this up. He has to go ahead and claim some space, but I really like the way that Tilde is approaching this from vertically. He's yeah. trying to jump above everything the Squid Palmer is doing, not at all trying to approach him horizontally where Squid Palmer can cover with those long ranged areas. Now here's the thing though, Squid Plumber is already catching on. You see that Tilde is going to come down a lot of times. He's been doing a lot of full hops and he's already throwing out the up tilt because the up tilt actually kind of reaches above you a little bit. So he's going to be able to get the holy water. Nice air dodge by Tilde though, but Squid Plumber actually doing a pretty good job. I mean, he took all that 89% from the first exchange and so far he has not been touched since he was able to kind of land on his feet. Kind of that shell shock of, oh my god, I'm getting hit a little bit. Oh, Ooh. the axe, it actually just goes directly over that reflector. It's so difficult to make it around Falco's reflector. A little bit of bad luck right there on Tilde's side, perhaps. All right, here we go. There's that up tilt into back air. But how oh. do you actually get back? That's the problem. But Not like that. With, yeah, <laughs> even with everything going as good as possible, the second the Squid Palmer fell out of Tilde's up, it's like, well, I guess I'm dead. There's nothing that I can do. This character's aerial drift is not particularly good and has no options other than that feather and the up B, both which are relatively linear. Tilde kind of carrying it up with the up tilt, or the up air a little bit, excuse me. But here we go. Nice snare to back air there. Tilde, once again, playing a little bit more passively, realizing that the reflector is, you know, a best friend here with Belmont. Oh Please my god, I thought, that. oh <laughs> my god, I thought, I, you know, there's a lot of propaganda out there, Scabs, that Belmont recovery is bad. It and is. depending on who you talk to, right, it is bad. But then you see him make it back from something like that, and you're like, yeah, that's doable. So an interesting aggressive option right there. Squid Palmer basically jumping in front of Tilde's face. Tilde responding appropriately with that up smash, both quick and invulnerable on the legs right there for Falco. A really good anti-air, and Squid Palmer's going to be really careful just jumping in front of Tilde's face today. All right, here we go. Projectiles are up, but perfect positioning right there from Tilde understood the gap between that wall that Squid was trying to set up. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Tilde going to be able to find the up tilt. All right, nice. Kind of getting out of there by Squid Plumber. He really has to kind of take him down now because really we know what he can do off of one opportunity here doing a really good job of you know pressing the advantage right now not gonna be I'm able to find he it missed that. The basing was ever so slightly off on that forward tilt and very nearly like squid Palmer went from being able to take a stock to just giving one up for free till they now back in neutral punishing squid very hard for that mistake all right nair goes out no looking for here. yeah he he's looking for something yeah he phased out way too hard at least try you know what i mean but i think he was looking for the tether back on because the tether is actually pretty big but wasn't able to find anything so i think the reason why squid has been struggling with that tether so often is because tilda has been perfectly positioning his lasers like he's basically been popping squid plumber once or twice the second that this man's off stage disrupting those attempts at an instant tether latch and every time you do that but when you take away that powerful option for the belmonts and that tether recovery their recovery is literally just up the and pray that's very true. So, going to Hollow Bastion. Y'all really like this stage with st with hazards on. So when I got here, um, our carpool had to play immediately, and it was like, oh yeah, PS2 is not legal. And I was like, what? Exactly. <laughs> I was like, excuse me. That's always the first reaction. It's like, what? And then you know, hazards are on for this rule set, which is completely fine. You know, no no hate, no shame. Um, but we get to get see the cool transformations here. But something about this stage, you know, aside from the Kingdom Hearts fan in me. Uh, the ceiling is very reminiscent of FD. It is so. exactly FD, just about. So we got to watch it a little bit because I feel like we saw Tilde get this up air bridge a little bit earlier. So Squid's going to watch out for it. Once again, pretty close between both these players. Going to be able to find the tether there on like last game. Squid Bomber's playing a little bit too hesitant in this matchup too. I've seen it a couple times where like he runs up to Tilde. Tilde is sitting in shield, committing to shield, but Squid is hesitant to go ahead and get a grab. He's hesitant to go ahead and toss out an option to apply some safe pressure. I really think that he needs to press his advantage a little bit harder. He gets the forward throw on this. Now we have to see what he can make out of this because if he just gets instantly back aired, then Tilde's going to be setting himself up. <laughs> you held, to hold it. It. You held to your hold breath. It. I, I was scared too, bones. man. I was kind of nervous too. <laughs> All right, here we go, though. Squid Plumber doing a really good job of getting out of there, but the illusion onto Sage. I actually feel like Squid Plumber's kind of struggling with some of these illusions. I feel like most illusions that Tilde has thrown out, they have actually hit. Oh, no, here we go. That cutscene combo already puts him right back into the lead there, the metaphorical lead, percentage league. All right, laser for good safekeeping, but... It's just so Squid perfect in this matchup. It stops his character's aerial momentum yeah. and forces him to tech or, or two up. 
immediately tether it right away. All right, Nair once again from Tilde. Ooh, okay, little tricks. Oh, but he's gonna find the back air. Not gonna kill just quite yet. Hollow Bastion, though. Oh my, see, this is what fall. I mean. Bit of fast How fall, could yeah. you look at that recovery and be like, yeah, Belmont's bad. That was crazy. That was from, that was all the way in left field. And just slashing away with these forward and back airs tilted to perfection right here. Squid just trying to chip away the shield. Eventually, those will set up for pokes. Tilde has no fear, went right out there, gonna Dead. gimp with the Firebird, and that is going to be last stock here for uh, Squid Plumber. Let's see who's coming on the uh, on the screen. Who's making an appearance today? Oh, oh no, no I don't even get to see who's coming on the screen. <laughs> Squid Plumber holding down fast forward, trying to get away from the imminent punish by Tilda, and that is not going to pay off for nope. him. Absolutely not. And that is going to be a 2-0 for Tilde. Just so you guys know, up in your top, above scabs, I can't tell directions. I know, I know. Uh, 